Hello all. So exactly where do we start today? Some of you may recall this statement. If the people of Maine want me, I'll do the job, the Republican governor said. If they don't want me, just ask me to leave. You don't have to impeach me. Those were the words of Governor LePage in July 2016. Now, it turns out that in the first month after the governor asked for letters from the people of Maine to tell him if they wanted him to resign, more than 1,800 people did exactly that in just that first month, indicating that they wanted him to resign. Now, although this represents a very small number in comparison to the number of overall actual voters, that number of 1,800 responses is significantly higher than the four responses the governor said he received. Over the past couple of weeks, Governor LePage has continued his sustained personal attacks on individuals, citizens, other elected state officials, and has, in effect, thumbed his nose at the people of Maine. It amazes me that even though Governor LePage has made personal attacks against just about every class of people, including Republican Senate President Mike Thibodeau, with whom he has been fighting since 2015, the Republican Party has closed ranks and effectively formed a border wall around the governor. This protectionism is despite Governor LePage's continued embarrassing and blood boiling inept behavior. Now, it seems that after attempts by House Speaker Mark Eves and Senator Thibodeau to bring the legislature back into session to deal with the governor's unhinged behavior, Republicans have decided to take a hands-off approach to both consideration of, in, of impeachment and censure. For some reason, Republicans are afraid of the bully and have decided to go along to get along, not to mention their concerns for protection of their own seats in the November election. In effect, Republicans are seeing nothing, saying nothing, and worse yet, doing nothing. This gives them momentary comfort in sparing Governor LePage of the painful criticism that he has brought upon himself and the people of the state of Maine. Republicans and Governor LePage are hoping that the voting public will either forget or overlook his arrogant and frankly troubling behavior and unfitness for leadership. After all, he is on record proudly saying, quote, I was Donald Trump before Donald Trump became popular, end quote. There are times when ignoring the facts places us all at risk. In life, and especially for Republicans in the main legislature, we are all called upon to make decisions, for better or worse. Ignorance and willful blindness is a convenient excuse for disengagement. To simply not care demonstrates a lack of Republican leadership. For those Republicans who have taken a hands-off approach, implying a we couldn't care less attitude force the rest of us to care more. Worse than evil is indifference to evil, demonstrated by people who won't do anything about it. So Governor LePage will continue his bad boy image over the next two years, uncaring about being held accountable for his actions, indifferent and intolerant of those he dislikes and disrespects, thumbing his nose at Maine citizens and continuing his reign of terror and tyranny, aided and abetted by his Republican minions. None of us should dismiss the governor's behavior, nor should we forget the complicity of those who have allowed this behavior to continue unconditionally without an inkling of accountability. So on November 8, 2016, let your voices be heard. I'll see you at the polls.